We are pleased to announce that the detailed outcomes for the first three years of the Western Australian Preterm Birth Prevention Initiative have now been published in PLOS One. PLOS One is the public library of science, the world's largest science journal. It is public access, so you are welcome to download a copy. The initiative was launched in 2014 with a single goal to safely lower the rate of preterm birth in Western Australia. Seven interventions were included across the whole of the state and including the whole of the population. It includes a social media campaign known as the whole nine months. The core interventions were that no pregnancy is to be ended before about 39 weeks gestation unless there is medical or obstetric justification. The length of the cervix is to be measured by ultrasound at all mid-pregnancy 19-week scans. That vaginal progesterone is to be prescribed that day if the cervix is found to be shortened and continued until term. That vaginal progesterone is to be prescribed for any woman with a past history of spontaneous preterm birth. Smoking while pregnant is to be strongly discouraged and a new preterm birth prevention clinic was commenced at the tertiary centre. In the first full calendar year, which was 2015, the preterm birth rate in the state fell by 7.6%. And in the state's major perinatal centre, King Edward Memorial Hospital, the rate fell by 20%. This new publication in PLOS One is a detailed description of the outcomes in 2015, 2016 and 2017. The good news is that the 20% reduction in preterm births at King Edward Memorial Hospital stayed down at 20%. And the effect included prevention at the younger gestational ages, the very early preterm births. And this benefit was continued despite the fact that the number of high risk cases being managed at the hospital continued to rise. We were disappointed to see that the beneficial effect that had been seen initially at the secondary level hospitals outside King Edward Memorial Hospital wore off. Actually, the rate increased. And there was no beneficial effect seen in births at private hospitals at any time. All the reduction had occurred in the public sector. But a very good piece of news was seen in the Kimberley in the far north of the state where the population is spread across large distances. In women who would not have been thought in early pregnancy to be at high risk, there was a dramatic reduction in preterm birth. We think it is probably a combination of two things. Progesterone treatment is quite expensive and at the beginning of the initiative in 2014, a decision was made in the Kimberley for this treatment to be provided free of charge. Second, the Kimberley had adopted a program of midwifery continuity of care for which there is good evidence that it may prevent pregnancy complications. It is likely that the free progesterone combined with strong midwifery care have together lowered the rate of preterm birth. So in conclusion, the results of this three year evaluation have shown that First, the rate of preterm birth can be lowered safely by applying known interventions across a population. The benefit was greatest in women who would not have been identified in early pregnancy as being at particular risk, indicating that preterm birth prevention programs need to include the whole of the pregnant population, not just women with risk factors. Second, the effect can be sustained where the program is most intensive, but is at risk of dissipating elsewhere. Third, the effect was present in a region where progesterone had been made free of charge, perhaps aided by a program of strong midwifery care. The program has now been extended across all of Australia's six states and two territories, with modifications suitable for each region. It is known as the Australian Preterm Birth Prevention Alliance. This program includes the whole population. 
On behalf of all of us who are involved in the initiative, I would like to thank the very many healthcare providers who have contributed so much to the cause, and most importantly, to the many pregnant women and families who are now part of this very successful story. Thank you.